Hi, I'm John John Park, personal trainer for the past 30 years and co-owner of Velocity Sports Performance and Personal Training. Today I'm going to take you through a basic exercise routine covering all the large muscle groups to ensure that you get a comprehensive workout. For this routine, there are only two pieces of equipment that are required. The first one is a Swiss ball, also called a balance ball. The other equipment that's required is simply a pair of dumbbells. Just one pair, that's all you need. The first exercise I want to start off with is for the lower back because the largest portion of the nervous system is located in the lower back. So for that we use the Swiss ball lying on your stomach, making sure that your stomach is on the ball at all times. And just simply raising your arms straight out in front of you and exhaling on the way up, making sure that the top of your head at all times and your heel are in a straight line. Don't raise your chin up. In this way, you exercise not just the lower back, but the upper back as well, the back of the shoulders, the middle back, all incorporate into one exercise. In this particular exercise, you can do various letters of the alphabet. Um, because this way, you're not just working your lower back, but activating your upper back and middle back muscles. So you can start off doing a letter Y, followed by a letter T, followed by a letter U, followed by a letter W. Every time you raise up, exhale and inhale on the way down. In this way, you incorporate not just the lower back, but all the areas of the upper back as well. I would recommend doing around 12 repetitions, three sets of 12. When you finish your set, just roll back gently and come up and walk around. I don't like people to sit or stand while they're resting. I like them to keep moving because that way it keeps the circulation going and prevents the muscles from stiffening up. Second exercise is for the abdominals. Again we use the Swiss ball. Lie down on your back making sure the whole of the lower back and at least two-thirds of your butt are in contact with the ball at all times. Your feet are apart your head is at a 45 degree angle, don't lift your chin up too high, don't force it on your chest. Place your hands gently behind the back of your head by interlocking your fingers and putting your elbows in a 45 degree position. I like to break this down into four parts to enable maximum benefit and activate the whole abdominal region. The first thing you do is you exhale. That will enable the abdominals to tense, to tighten the abdominals. The second thing you do is you pull your navel downwards towards your spine. By doing this, you activate your internal abdominal structure. Again, part one, you exhale. Part two, you pull your navel into your spine. The third aspect is to raise up progressively, and I like to do it in a count of five. Each count coming up a little higher. So you can feel the muscles contracting as you come up. And whilst you're doing that, the fourth part is to pull the pelvis upwards towards the sternum. This way, you're not just working your upper two-thirds, but now you're activating the lower portion, which is the more problematic area in terms of people carrying excess weight into the whole exercise. So again, run through the whole routine. Exhale. Navel to spine, lift and pull the pelvis up, one, two, three, four, five.